Welcome back. In the previous video, we learned how to include an image through advanced custom fields into our website. Now we are going to try another field in the content section called file. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It is just the ability to upload a file and then have it downloadable on your theme. So I'm going to create the label, upload a file, and we can choose again if it's going to be an array, a URL or an ID. I'm just going to make it an array and I will then click on update. We'll go to our contact page and click on refresh. Should see now upload a file is there. I'm going to actually remove the image so it doesn't clog up the front end. And I'm going to then make it upload a file, uh, download a file. So um, I'm gonna make it so that you download this image as opposed to displaying it. And then I'll click on update. And then we'll go into our template and do uh, obviously include the the file in there so the ID is called upload underscore a underscore file so we'll do file equals get field and then we'll just do PHP if file PHP and if and we'll just do PHP var dump file refresh our content page and you should see it is now an array as well and the thing with it is is technically it is kind of like an image as well if it is an image that you've uploaded it's going to come up with all the image sizes and stuff like that but you obviously wouldn't use that file type for uh, sorry that field type for an image you would use the image type so you can see the actual image on the back end but same type of thing, file name is there. So if you wanted, you could get the file name. Uh, let's do file data equals, uh, sorry, file data. Uh, we'll do file name equals file. And then it is file name. And the file URL equals file. And I'm assuming it's just going to be URL, but we'll just find it. Yeah, there we go. Just URL. So URL. So then what you can do is make it a download. So you could do a link. And inside there, do PHP echo file name and PHP echo file URL. And then maybe you could force it to be a download. So you could just type download here, which will make sure that when the link is clicked, it will download. We'll hit refresh and you could click on it and it will download the image there. As you can see, you can obviously not make it. You don't have to make it the name of the file. You could just do download the image. Click on refresh. There you go. Download the image. Or if you didn't want to force the download, take that away hit refresh and then it will actually open it up in the browser but that probably isn't a good idea and that's how you do the file field see you in the next video